everyone, it's Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. Well, today's a really exciting day for me. I'm going to be joining the Picket Fence Studios design team as of this month. And I've been a big fan of their stamps ever since I got to play with them a couple of years ago and on and off since then. I've, um, I've had the opportunity to create with their stuff so I was delighted when they contacted me to see if I would like to join the team. But today what I thought I would do is share the new release with you. This is the September release and I thought I would show you the cards that I've made with some of the products. I didn't get to use all of the products yet. So I will have uh, links to all of these in the description below and on my blog and I will have some pictures and some blog posts coming up over the next few weeks where I share the projects in more detail. So without further ado, I'll just kick off with the first couple of products. This first stamp set is actually one of their background builder stamp sets and it's called Sweater pattern maker so it's um, a Christmas design quite a kind of Scandinavian design very very pretty you could stamp this in a slimline card format I've seen um, a couple of people use it that way on the design team um, really really lovely uh, set and they've also bought out the fancy Christmas sentiment set now they had another one of these fancy sentiment sets earlier on in the year I think or yes I think it was earlier this year so um, they were very it was very popular and they've brought out one for Christmas um, now so this is my card that I made with two of the products and this actual snowman here that's from on a Christmas walk which was released uh, last year but I thought I would use the sweater pattern maker for my background today because it's snowflakes design I thought that would look really nice as a background sky and I used one of the fancy Christmas sentiments um, along the bottom there I really like how this card turned out it's very clean and simple but it's very pretty with the uh, pattern maker embossed in the background so this is a second background builder set that they're releasing this month. It's called Chase Me and it has some little butterflies, some dragonflies and again it does a it creates a repeating pattern if you want to use it in that way. Very pretty little set, great for techniques. I actually did a little bit of watercolouring for my cards. So I watercoloured with liquid watercolours. And then I stamped the image over it and heat embossed it and then I just cut it into a heart shape. This sentiment is from another set called Spotlight on You which is previously released. And I don't think you can see here but I have scored the white card base just to give it some extra detail just because it is quite a clean and simple card. And I added on a few little sequins. This is the set called... Uh, gin and tonic from picket fence they're like iridescent they're very very pretty I'm sure I'm going to be using those a lot on my cards so it's difficult to see in the light today but they are very very pretty there's lots of stencils in this release I've got my the first stencil I'm going to show you is one called floral stencil and there is another one coming in a slightly different format to this very very pretty kind of floral um, print great for ink blending of course and texture paste that kind of thing picket fence does do uh, their own paste called paper glaze which is quite um, a, a fluid paste but really really good for techniques and they do have a few that are uh, a few extra colors that are coming out this month but i will show you those in a minute so this is the stencil, very, very pretty. Um, I just enjoyed ink blending on it. And this is the card that I created with it. So I just did some simple ink blending. I masked off the sections as I went. 
And then I added on this circular sentiment. This is actually from the set called Dragon Fruit, which is being released this month. I used that sentiment there. And I thought it would look really nice on a circular greeting. I really don't do that very often and I don't know why, but it, it sort of is a little bit different. And I just used some gold um, jewellery wire actually just to create my little strings there. Um, hopefully you can see that. And again, I added some sequins onto that as well. Really pretty stencil and... Um, you know, as such an interesting set this, I've never had a dragon fruit fruit <laughs> before. I had no idea what they look like or what I certainly don't have any idea what they taste like. But, um, you know, something a little bit different. And so I decided that I would use them on my next card. And as you'll see here, I've created a slimline card. It's always hard to get this into frame. But um, I've used one of the new uh, slimline stencils that Picket Fence are bringing out this month. I'll come to those in a minute. But I just, I just stamped and heat embossed two of the dragon fruit and coloured them with watercolour markers. Then I created a background using one of the stencils. This is the slimline radial stencil. And I added some baker's twine at the bottom that's actually a stamp for baker's twine it's not actually twine another set that was re released a few months ago so here is the slimline radial stencil i think this is fantastic really good for halloween actually because it looks a little bit like a spider's web but just a fantastic stencil for creating a focal point in the middle and just for creating extra interest to your card. I went for a very kind of light background on this card. I don't know how well you can see it. It's actually done in antique linen because I didn't want it to overpower the dragon fruit. So this stencil is absolutely lovely and I'm sure I'm going to use this a lot in the coming months. So for my final card this month, I use the Slimline Dashes stencil. Really, really lovely stencil. Again, it's it's just it's great for backgrounds. I mean, it's it can. I thought it looked a little bit like rain actually, and so what I decided to do for my card was I created this card here, and I'm going to try and turn that so that you can see the stencil work on the back. I actually used some WOW embossing powder for the background, WOW singing in the rain. And I thought I would just pair it with the previously released Jill Girl stamp set. I thought that looked like, you know, it, she was kind of out drinking her coffee in the rain. And I added on one of the fancy sentiments that was released earlier this year onto the bottom. So really kind of dark, um, dark kind of night sky, I guess, is what I had in mind for that. And I think it just looks so pretty with that sparkly background. So that was my final card. I'll just finish off by showing you the rest of the products in the release. There are three more slimline stencils. The first one is a broken fence stencil. I really like this. I think this will work great for um, masculine and um, female, male and female cards. So that's another of the slim lines. There is another one called floral stencil, but as you remember, I showed you one earlier, which is the square version. Well, this one is the slim line version. Again, I didn't get to create with that, but it's the same image, just in a slim line format. And this one is absolutely gorgeous. This is the leaf stencil and it's so pretty. I've, uh, some of the design team have been using this. As I said, I didn't get a chance to use it this month. But it just looks absolutely lovely, even just with a sentiment. So looking forward to trying that out. And then the last stamp set I've got to show you is one called All Wired. This is another one of the background stamps that they release. Really good for a masculine card actually because it's quite, it's quite techy. I know that doesn't mean that women aren't, but I just sort of saw this more as a masculine um, image, I guess, when I first looked at it. But it's, um, it's a great set and great for colouring. 
and I think it would also go really well with this stencil this is the final stencil that I have to show you um, this is called arrow stencil and again it's really good for kind of borders or you can create a whole background with with any one of those kind of sets of um, lines so that finishes all the stencils and stamps and then I've just got three other products to show you. They're bringing out three more paper glazes this month. They already have about 10 or 12 colours, I think. But they are now bringing out one called Artemisia Silver. So that's going to be really beautiful for Christmas. There's also one called Jade Green. I absolutely love this colour. I think it's just a, such a gorgeous colour very very pretty kind of turquoise green will be great for sea scenes and then one here called boysenberry violet and I saw somebody use these two together and they just look so pretty I, I didn't kind of see it that way when I first picked them up I didn't look at them as colours that I would naturally put together but they go so beautifully together um, my friend on the design team used them with the leaf stencil they were really really pretty so that's the final three products thank you so much for joining me today and taking a look through the release with me as I mentioned at the start of the video I will have links to all the products below and over on my blog and there is a link to my blog in the description also. I will be sharing the cards in a little more detail over the next couple of weeks. So until next time, thank you for joining me.